It's now on NBC Bay Area investigation involving a San Jose fire truck, a strip club, and a bikini clad woman who stepped out of the fire truck and into the club. NBC Bay Area has earned, has obtained exclusive new information after filing a Public Records Act request. Our Damien Trujillo joins us from outside the Pink Poodle with a story you'll see only on NBC Bay Area. The information gathered from this investigation has been slow in coming, but what we have reviewed is very troubling. The video posted on social media shows a woman in a bikini climbing out of San Jose Fire Engine 4 and into the Pink Poodle Gentlemen's Club on Bascom Avenue. After we brought the video to the attention of the mayor and the fire department, the city launched an investigation, but that's the last we've heard from them. Richard Santos is a retired San Jose fire captain of 33 years and says he's getting frustrated with the progress of the investigation. Well, like anything, you sure hope there's a thorough investigation, but the longer they wait, it, it hurts everybody who ought to have this behind us. Because the men and women of the, of the San Jose Fire Department deserve better. So we filed public records requests with the city of San Jose to get Engine 4's GPS location data for that evening, along with other public information related to the incident. Here is some of what we found. According to dispatch records, there was never a call for service at the Pink Poodle that night. But at 9.06 p.m., GPS data shows Engine 4 stopped in front of the Pink Poodle. The engine then appears to circle the block before returning four minutes later at 9.10. Then at 9.14, the GPS pings two miles away, showing engine four stopped in front of AJ's bikini bar. GPS data shows the engine was there for about four minutes. Is there an error in judgment? So be it. We got to deal with it. It doesn't take away from the 100 percent that they give every day for the citizens of the city of San Jose. We also obtained text messages between city leaders on the night we alerted them of the video. They show leaders scrambling to get a message out to the media. A text from the fire department spokeswoman questions the mayor writing in a statement to NBC Bay Area that, quote, heads must roll and we can't have an emergency rescue apparatus relegated to a frat party bus. There was no response today from the mayor. We can't tell how the chief was responding much of the time because some of his text messages were redacted without any explanation, which NBC Bay Area plans on challenging. In a short statement today, the city would only say this is an ongoing investigation that includes all the data they have. The fire department did not release the names of the firefighters on duty at Station 4 that night, citing the ongoing investigation. Santos says he's worried about the blemish the entire incident has left on the San Jose Fire Department. Damian Trujillo, NBC Bay Area News.